I, I don't mean I don't, I don't necessarily want to throw shade at the other at the other gaming deep ends, but I do kind of want to stand out. The, the difference that we have is that we have yet to see any other deep end, gaming deep end uh, structure that does what we're doing. You know, setting up a network that streams it to any URL or inside of any service. Most of them are trying to build a platform that you have to go to, basically a Steam for uh, for Web three, which is kind of silly. I think that you you once again centralizing everything. Um, or, or they're trying to sell hardware to the end user, which also, to my mind, doesn't make much sense because we want the end users to have as much access as possible. We're trying to, we're trying to throw the gates open to, as, you know, to everybody we can throw the gates open to. Uh, so have, yeah. forcing the end user to put up more money just doesn't make sense. Do, do you know, I'm going to flip it a very little bit. I, I sort of understand in the, the pre-Telegram, pre-Netflix, pre-kind of, um, you know, Hugo Boss wanting Hugo Boss dot com forward slash game kind of environment why you would do a steam because you want that footfall coming you know and that that's the whole that's whole argument about going on Fortnite or whatever but i think actually this is a game changer with the telegram piece is because you know even though i wouldn't go to you know steam or whatever download the game you know there is an argument where people would say well actually there's a footfall coming for it for my game there's a footfall whereas now with the the telegram posting the the you know the url post and there's an argument that or not an argument there's there's a point where imagine how many people you've got on youtube versus steam you know 25 people on steam you know go in look at 500 games and, and do one of them yeah youtube right. it's not unusual for youtube to have 10 million views is it so you know we've got a different it's a different way of marketing and i think sometimes people just potentially need to you know get their heads around okay it's a, and again, you know, I'm going to relate back to the guy that we're talking to on Tuesday. You know, he's a visionary within the gaming space, and I think when people see it, you know, this then it becomes like, right, okay, this makes complete sense how you're doing it. Yum.